I heard some huge leaks happen while I was sleeping. Chibi got a new video called Massive Leak, resulting in full episodes of Dan Da Dan and Rama Half. I heard that ReZero got impacted, but that's actually fake news, right? Let's see what Chibi has to say about this. Someone messed up big time and whoever it was is definitely gonna lose their job and <laughs> potentially face prison time for prison time huh it's that serious i i mean yeah i mean even like the manga leaks right with one piece and the shonen jump shit like they have been cracking down really really hard there was a guy i remember a japanese youtuber who up who uploaded not a let's play but basically the entire like a visual novel of some game and then he just got faced like like Five plus years in jail or something. For the leaks that just happened a few hours ago, this is literally breaking news, literally just started coming out in the anime community. And I'm gonna tell you the leaks, the actual, the, the leaks that I am talking about right now is way beyond the standard leaks in the anime and manga community. And what I yes, cause like Konosuba at the beginning of um, last season, at the beginning of last season, I, a lot of shit got leaked early. But that was already that season worth of anime, right? It was like a leak anticipating of two to three weeks out. This is different, right? Rama, da, I don't, is Dan, Dan, Dan also October? These are October animes, bro. We're two months fucking out and shit's already getting leaked. What I mean by that is, is typically when you have like manga leaks, it's like a chapter, let's say One Piece or, yeah. you know, JJK. The chapter leaks about a few days early before the official yeah, we know about those leaks. Or you have someone leak, like, let's say, oh, uh, you know, an anime is getting a season two, season three, or it's getting an anime or whatever, and it's leaked a few months prior, but there's no other really confirmation given. You just know from a reliable leaker that apparently it's going to be getting an anime announcement. Yeah. Now we're getting actual episodes, right? I hear of all the leaks, the funniest shit I read was... Dan Dan Dan, at least the episode looks good. I hear that like, they're kind of satisfied that, okay, whatever studio is working on this project, it does look pretty good. I hear there's a little bit of a mixed reception with the opening though. And that's about it. But what leaked out today was three anime mm. with their full episodes and even a movie A movie got leaked? Two months prior before it was set to air. And the culprit... <sighs> We can assume at this point is Netflix, aka someone within Netflix leaked this shit early. Some weeb out there leaked it. Now, I don't know how you gotta feel about leaks. When I play gotcha games, this is a different tangent. When I play Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail, having leaks is kind of nice because then I can kind of plan ahead and think about resource management to say, okay, well, I know that these banner units are coming up in the next couple months. So why, you know, you know, pull for the current unit if I know they're going to be more impactful units coming in the future? So in that sense, leaks are kind of useful and helpful for me in a gacha game perspective. But in anime, I'm not sure how I feel about that. When I'm doing anime reactions, I don't really do like leaked reactions. Nokotan is an exception due to the AI subs and the whole debacle going there. But I prefer my anime. Even it's, I'm a little bit indifferent, I guess. Just because it got leaked doesn't hurt me or anything. And I'm not even going to cover it or anything. I guess for the consumers, it's a bit better to get a little bit of a, a little teaser from the leaks, but I don't know where I stand with the leaks and, you know, whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing. They are the result of why this has happened. Now, it could be something else entirely, but at this current time, it is implied that it is clearly Netflix that has caused this. There was a security breach. Mm. Someone, either a rogue employee or someone hacked into Netflix, they managed to get a hold of these three series and they posted them online today. And just to show confirmation, I'm not going to yeah. give links, but I took screenshots. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what website this is. Full Don Don Don, let's fucking go submitter anonymous. Just to confirm for myself, yeah, yeah. Don 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 to Rama One Half, <laughs> the other movie for Mononoke, this movie right here, all straight up leaked. You, you, yeah. you can find them. I'm not going to give links. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on, TV. Everyone knows that UI. Come on now. See where it's at. And I'm, gonna be <laughs> I'm probably not even going to watch the Don 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 or Rama episodes because I'm going to wait till they officially come out. But the point still stands that... Well, I mean, if I was also TV, I would not be going out giving out links like that. It's like a bad look. It's like the same shit when mother monkeys fucking show up and it's like, Yo, where are you watching these animes? Motherfucker.
You sound like a, a fucking a cop that got sent to school. This is 21 Jump Street, bro. You're showing up asking, hey, fellow children, where's the weed at? Yeah, you got the hookups? And it's like, come on, bro. H have a little fucking tact. Come on now. At these episodes have leaked out two months before the series are set to air. And let me explain. So yeah. dawn to dawn, the anime is set to air this upcoming October. At the Hype. day's date of me recording, it is the 6th of August. So that means that about two months from now, Dawn to Dawn's first episode was supposed to premiere worldwide for everybody to see. And as- And now that is ruined. Is it ruined though? Well, if we're gonna think about from an individual's experience perspective, it's not gonna be ruined for me because I'm just gonna wait until October. Just because Dun to Dun is already out doesn't mean I'm going to go out of my way to watch it. Because I want to make content out of it, and I'm going to wait for the actual release. If I wanted to get an early peek, then I could watch it now. But I guess some people... It's more of like the corporation is kind of getting mad. Because, obviously, with leaks like this, I don't think the premiere is going to be as big. You know? Because, like, you've already shown the leaks. Many people have probably watched it. I would like to see, actually, a statistic of amount of people that actually, you know watches elite content or not it's probably like a pretty low percentage just like how i was so surprised that nobody knows even how to fucking torrent nobody even knows how to use like random and extreme sites either they always think that paid subscription services are the way to go and for whatever convenience fees or uh morality sake right a lot of people actually do they're, they're just not internet savvy enough i guess to use torrents but I, I don't know. I feel like the premiere, it sucks for them in terms of making a huge impact because obviously with the leaks, it's not going to be as impactful because it's like, oh, it's been out for two months. But other than that, I don't think it really hinders my individual experience. For Rama, the exact same thing. It's supposed to air on October 6th, so literally two months exactly from today's date. And once again, the first three episodes of Rama have been leaked. And it's just... That blows my freaking mind because it's like this is not your average leak. This is a massive security it is. breach. And honestly, this definitely makes any company that is potentially associating themselves with Netflix, with Netflix. if Netflix is indeed responsible. It's going to be a bad look, man. It's going to be a fucking bad. Man, I don't really have any qualms with Netflix. Why couldn't this been fucking Crunchyroll that fucking leaked it, bro? And then Crunchyroll could get some fucking heat while they're fucking, you know? <laughs> A lot of the controversies and drama surrounding right now. If Crunchyroll had this shit happen, I mean, they already did leak like Konosuba and shit in the earlier of last season, right? But, and there was like a security leak as well. This makes them look at Netflix probably with a lot of skepticism. This mm -hmm. does a lot of damage to Netflix's brand and for the Japanese companies to potentially even want to continue working with Netflix and to have business with them. Because Dawn to Dawn has definitely been built up to be a huge yeah. smash hit anime for this show. And that's the thing, right? This is not random animes. These are like apex predator of a seasonal anime kind of tier of animes, right? I don't know how good Dan Dan is actually going to be, but based on the amount of advertisement and the amount of people talking about it, every other season, there are these specific titles that gets hyped up, right? I think in January, that was solo leveling. Right now, it's probably a mixture of like Roshite, Oshinoko, and some other animes, but like... Yeah, October, Dan Dan coming out. I think there was a huge, huge anticipation building up towards it. And if they leak this shit early, like, I'd be pissed off if I was the Japanese studio or the companies, you know, managing Dan Dan. I mean, like, really, you monkeys fucking leaked this shit. How did you let this even happen? Sheer, it's been hyped up and it's clear the quality behind And honestly, yeah, if Japanese companies stop working with Netflix, I'm all for it. I have Netflix releasing 12 episodes with anime one day hate. Me too. I hate Netflix batch uploads. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I think that jojo's is an example where i saw the week by week reddit karma hype of it building up jojo fridays or something was such like a like a tradition i forget exactly what day it was but i think when it got to part i forget which one it is it's the one with the girl right it's part six or something that's when didn't they start to do batch releases and then the hype died down now people say that oh it's because stone ocean is not as you know exciting as the other parts but I don't know. I, I think that there's a direct correlation with batch release uploads and just killing the hype and the momentum of anime community because the culture surrounding, you know, these anime weekly series, it's not just about the episodes. It's literally part of a lifestyle. Having something good to look forward to at the end of the day honestly keeps you going. 
just knowing that you have another episode of let's say ReZero coming up next week, right? And you can talk about the episode and you can all like discuss in community. That's how like a culture and community is formed. And if you just like release everything in one batch, not only do you kill that aspect of, you know, the anime community, people just don't even know, right? And I, I really, really hate that shit. I, I, I think that week by week episode one release drip rate is way better. For some people, they don't care. They're just here to fucking, you know, uh, devour the entire batch of anime in one sitting. For sure, if you want to do that, go ahead. But I think that you can get much more out of an anime if you take it week by week process and just kind of slowly digest everything and maybe even theory craft and talk about it with other people and, you know, other things that that people like the other people that enjoy that anime find it is definitely very high and ronma one half as you have all seen with my video i posted about a month ago to just the overall the was that a month ago what the fuck i swear to god i just farmed that video from chibi like last week discussion around it in this last month it is very clear there is a lot of hype for Rama, and it's a legendary series at that. It's been 30 years since, you know, any form of anime content, new content for it. So it's just like, the fact that all this has happened to these stories is ridiculous. But then, you have Mononoke, this movie over here, which I don't know too much about, I'm gonna be blunt with you, but I have seen this image before. This is a full freaking anime movie leaked already prior. Now, I wonder why these specific three... I wonder what the criteria was for the leaker. Was it a random hit? Was it specific? Was it some sort of personal grudge against the studios that made these? I don't know. Before it's set to air. And it's just like, Netflix, what are- We're treating this like it's a fucking potential school shooting or like an assassination attempt. As of trying to understand the motif for the fucking shooter, like, why did the leaker do this? What are you doing? Like, this is bad. Like, this is legitimately bad because- Look, I, I understand the common Joe are not going to care too much. They're just going to go out of their way and they're going to watch these episodes. Okay, do what you want to do. Yeah, for I, sure, I'm go not going to be the moral police. It's not my job, etc. All I'm saying is, is that um, it's very clear that whatever happened here, someone's getting in a lot of trouble. And One person or a team? I don't know, but this is very spicy. And like, oh, I would love to understand the insider info behind the scenes of what's actually going on, man. I bet it's actually such spicy drama if it wasn't just a simple hack. Normally, you know, people say you shouldn't talk about leaks or even bring attention to it, but I mean, it's spreading all over the community right now. I, and I want to be blunt with you, my opinion on leaks, it's fair game once it's already out there. I'm not necessarily going to show footage, etc. or the images from the episodes, but I'm just going to say that yes, it does exist. I've confirmed it for myself. One thing I do want to say is, is that the opening of Dawn to Dawn... I've been getting mixed messages about this. I hear that the opening is trash, but some people are also saying it's really amazing. A very split vote right through the middle. What's going on? And ending song as well. And the opening of Rama One Half was all leaked. And overall, big fan. I want to say, the okay. Dawn to Dawn it's opening good. song, hands down might be one of the best opening songs i've heard in a very long time like I what the fuck makes you want to fucking react to dun dun opening right now and post that shit on youtube but probably not a good look wonder if nicholas light will i don't know it's openings by creepy nuts oh shit it's gonna be a banger then we know about mass season two opening right oh my god that that was so good creepy nuts i've only heard one song by there and that was like 10 out of 10, so I can already imagine how good it's gonna be for Dun Dun Dun. I, I would say top five best anime openings in the last like two to three years. It is a very, wow. very good song. Maybe it's my just initial reaction, but for right now, I would say at least in the top five best songs in the last two to three years. I wonder if this shit's leaked on YouTube. Like, Dun 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 opening uh i would have to sort by last like today right don da don opening eh, i don't see it upload date eh, i don't see it on youtube specifically eh, i i don't see it bro you've seen it hmm maybe my search engine optimization is not really good it got blocked I don't see it, man. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorting by upload date. It's gonna be like literally today, bro. Hmm. 
I don't know. I, I, I think that most of them got all blocked. It probably got uploaded for a bit, then it just got all blocked, right? So they're being very careful with this shit, but okay, okay. Years for the opening song, at least. Ending song, pretty freaking good. I haven't listened to it enough to really get a good opinion. Like, what would happen if someone uploaded an opening reaction to Dun 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 right now? Because, like, when it's already out public, for, like, you know, in October, that's fair game. But right now, what would happen? Would, would they, like, actually pursue legal, like, action? I, I really wonder how that would work. Like, that's some dangerous fucking... I am not fucking around with that. Like, that, that one opening video, bro, it is not worth risking a fucking channel, bro. Opinion on it, but uh, opening song, incredible. Rama is in the same area as the ending song for Don to Don. I haven't listened to it too much to really get a feel for it, but I do like what I saw. So just overall, I do think that... This is insane that this happened. It is absolutely a disaster for anime in Japan and the people that work on these stories. Yeah. Because, like, I want to be blunt with you. I know not a lot of people are going to care too much. They're going to probably go out of their way to watch it. For the consumers, I don't think they really give a fuck, right? It's like, most of the consumers, they don't care about these leaks. They, they're probably happy that the leaks happened. This is just like a corporation's issue right now. Most people are not really quick to glaze up a corporation. Like, Netflix took a fat L, but it's like, all right, I don't really care. I might watch the episode if I wasn't doing reactions myself. But you got to imagine and feel from the animator's perspective, the people that have sweat, you know, and put blood, sweat, and tears into these episodes that just now got leaked today, you know, they're going to be very devastated because obviously, you know, they were waiting for the premiere, worldwide premiere for everybody to see them in a few months. But yeah. you have these episodes already out now, technically, two months prior. This is, this is really... Now, are y'all ready to put the conspiracy tinfoil hat on and just think for a second and ask, do you think that these leaks were intentional? Not from Netflix specifically, but with the collusion with the studios and the producers. By releasing the episodes and the openings early to build up some sort of, you know, pre-hype ritual, two months out, I don't think so, right? I, I think that does more harm than good. I think that if you wanted to build up hype without, you know, just ruining like that big premiere episode releases, maybe you could have dropped the opening. You could have leaked the opening, right? And that way people can talk about the opening and people are going to get hyped up about it and the episode's still safe. But with the episode already out there, again, this is conspiracy theory territory. I don't think so, but it's just kind of interesting to just ask like, what if? about as bad as it can get because this isn't just a typical like a uh, pre-recorded screen like pre-showing screen recording of the episodes this is just straight up the full episodes released early and all that yeah. this wasn't leaked from a convention from my understanding this yeah this is not some random dude recording the episode through their fucking iphone <laughs> in like cam quality and then uploading that shit <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what's going on. It's the actual episodes. This is just straight up a breach in Netflix itself. But uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about this. It blew my mind when I saw it. Uh, once again, I'm not going to link to where this stuff is. <laughs> I just wanted to say, yeah, this stuff happened. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what website that is. And, and I wonder who's getting fired. I wonder who's going to get prison time. And I am curious if it really is Netflix's fault or if it's someone else's. Like, is it potentially actually a Japanese company? Yeah. Is it biz? You know, I, I'm very curious. I'm, I, I'm legitimately curious on which company is responsible for this. Me too. And when the news comes out and someone gets fired, we will be there to cover that video as well. Thank you, Chibi, for the update, guys. Please. Go to his channel, like his videos, sub to his channel if you haven't, and if there is a follow-up to this update, I'll be there.